Native American culture goes back tens of thousands of years to a time when indigenous people lived on Turtle Island, which is now known as North America. Indigenous culture revolved heavily around nature. The tribes worshipped the spirit of these animals and materials. Elk and antelope skins were used to make everyday clothing. Cedar wood was used to make blankets, baskets, dishes, canoes, and crest homes. For the most part, indigenous tribes lived off their land peacefully alongside one another before colonialism. The culture of indigenous people of Northwest Coast Canada and United States consisted of a special tradition called potlatch. A potlatch is a gift-giving feast and the economic system amongst indigenous tribes. According to Kenneth D. Tolson's article, Potlatching in the Political Organization of Northwest Coast Indians, the selection of the guest list for potlatches consisted of a chief's wife and the clan of the former chief's wife. Tolson says that potlatches were used to show off individual accomplishment and social class. All social and political changes in a clan were recorded at potlatches, including the change of a chief, naming, piercing, and tattoo markings. The host group and potlatches decided the amount of food, wood, carvings, blankets, baskets, furs, and other personal items to be given away. The chief of the host group wore a special hat with rings that showed the amount of potlatches he had hosted. Slaves and copper were used to show the amount of wealth someone had. Coppers were especially used to display wealth and were usually broken and distributed during a potlatch. Potlatches were ultimately made for economic transactions to take place between clans. These investments were made so that the local community could be secure and that the investments would eventually return. The halibut feast dish by Stan Wemmis is an example of an item that would be used or given as a gift during a potlatch. Made in 2005, it is an abstracted fish carved and painted on yellow cedar. The carving is 25 inches long by 13 inches wide and 3.5 inches deep. It is about the size of a 3 month old infant. The tactile texture of the wood is smooth and shiny. The repeated colors and shapes throughout are examples of repetition and rhythm. The focal point is the opening in the center. Hundreds of years later after the first settlers in 1492, the remaining Native Americans were oppressed under the Indian Act. According to Jay Makarenko's article, Indian Act Historical Overview, the Indian Act was established in 1876 by the Canadian government. Indians were considered enemies of the state. Within this act, enfranchisement was encouraged which was the ability for Indians to be stripped of their status and gain full citizenship. Indians could gain enfranchisement by applying, marrying someone of non-Indian descent, or obtaining a degree or important job, such as a doctor or lawyer. Amendments in the Indian Act included abolishment of traditional ceremonies and the power of the Superintendent General of Indian Affairs to give or remove pieces of a reserve or to remove Indians from a reserve. Also, natives had to get permission to leave their reserve and to appear in Indian costume in any public event. Shortly after the Indian Act, the Carlisle Indian School was established in 1880 in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. It was founded by General Richard Henry Pratt and sought to Americanize Indian children so that they could thrive in society. The school educated students from ages 6 to 25. Students were expected to learn English and take on American names. The children were also forced to change their manner of dress and given up traditional Indian ways. The boys' long hair was cut short in Euro-American style and students were given school uniforms of American style clothing, with dresses being provided for the girls. So colonialism, Indian school, how long of Palaches and the Indian Act are some events that sought to eliminate native culture. The PBS docufilm, Song on the Water, produced by Robert Londale, shows viewers a modern-day voyage to a traditional potlatch, including over 50 canoes. In this video, seniors discuss the importance of being connected to their ancestors and the unity of the clans. Also discuss with the teachings of youth, so that today's Native American descent people can live out the teachings of their ancestors.
Modern day potlatches differ from ancient day ones. A lot of gifts are mass produced everyday items, such as ramen, canned goods, soda, towels, and toys. Although the gifts differ, the idea behind the potlatch remains the same. The title of my artwork is A Native Gift. My artwork is inspired by the ancient potlatch. The open palm symbolized the importance of giving. I drew the copper that would be broken and distributed. The basket, food, and weapon represent gifts that would have been given in an ancient potlatch. Lastly, the chief's hat with rings represents how many potlatches he'd had hosted.